So right now we're going to get into um, my humble opinion. Um, I just realized I should make some sort of like video bumper for my humble opinion to just kind of like segue us into that, you know. I want this show to be professional, you know. So it's all right. It's been a while, but we're back with my humble opinion, and I'm excited to talk about these things. There were a lot of new, like very recent releases. I think all of these were just last night. Yep. Yep. It's true. So firstly, we're going to talk about Switchfoot. They just release their deluxe edition of the beautiful letdown, our version. So I talked about the beautiful letdown, our version. I feel like that was last time in the last episode. I don't know. I might be wrong. And basically what it is is that they took one of their most popular albums, The Beautiful Letdown, and they redid it. They re uh they did a remake. You know, they pulled a Disney and they remade it. And I shared my thoughts on it and I basically don't really know why the album exists. Someone actually reached out to me about it and explained their their suspicions about it and it makes sense that it could be a sort of like rights issue where Switchfoot maybe no longer really um, owned the rights to that album. And so like making the cover album uh, made it so that they, they owned it themselves. So uh, I don't know if that, that makes any sense, but other than that, I didn't really know why the album existed because it's not like that the, the songs on this new version were, that different they were they i mean they there were like slight changes to it and just like if you're not gonna like completely reimagine these songs then what's the point really other than that they sound just a little bit newer and a little bit fresher and so uh, my my reaction was that like uh, i'm just gonna listen to the old album you know i'm not really gonna have any desire to go back to this but it was it was okay but uh, this this deluxe edition makes a little bit more sense to me because it is something that's completely new. And what they did is that they reached out to, well, I don't know if they reached out to them, but a bunch of different artists uh, covered each song from the album, and they basically did their version. And they're just each individual different artists on there. Quite quite a roster actually of different artists, both Christian and secular. I mean, I could go, we could go into that and what that's all about, but, but I'm not really going to, but a lot of familiar artists and a lot of surprising artists too. I'm just going to go down the list. We got John Bellion, Noah Gunderson. I know Nick Gundy is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I already see in the chats, Noah Gunderson co covered one of the songs. Yeah. Uh, so we got, uh, Noah Gunderson, uh, Monica Martin, Reliant K. Uh, Ryan Tedder from One Republic, Colony House, Jonas Brothers, Owl City, Ingrid Andrus. I'm not really familiar with her. Dayglow, uh, Tyler Joseph from Twenty One Pilots, and Sleeping at Last. So, very interesting collection of different artists. Uh, and you know they all put their own different spin on it. And I gotta say, I was not expecting Jonas Brothers of all people. I, they haven't even really been making any music, have they? Or maybe they all, didn't they just like just recently get back together? I don't know. I do remember that the Jonas Brothers, they uh, they grew up in a Christian home and I'm pretty sure they were Assemblies of God, which is my background. I could be wrong on that. It's funny because when I was a kid, I used to get this uh, magazine uh, by Focus on the Family called Clubhouse. And they did an article on Nicholas Jonas, on Nick, uh, yeah, Nick Jonas, whatever, when he was a kid, because he used to be on Broadway, and that was like kind of when he started making music, and he started out making Christian music. And so as a kid, I was like, oh, man, I want to be him. And then the Jonas Brothers happened. I was like, and, and then I realized that one of them was Nicholas Jonas. I was like, that's the kid that I knew from Clubhouse. <laughs> So, anyways, that's my history with Jonas Brothers. Their uh, version is uh, interesting. 
I don't. It's 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 weird because the beautiful letdown is probably my favorite song on the album, and ah, uh, I didn't know how I really felt about their version. I'll just go through some of these, uh, all these different covers. John Bellion's version of Meant to Live is very underwhelming, in my opinion. It's just like all orchestra and such, and you know, whatever. Noah Gunderson is, it's a very, uh, his version is very close to the original version with his own little twist on it. So it's fine. It's, it's good. Monica Martin, I didn't really like her cover of More Than Fine. I, sometimes I get really tired of the trope that like when you cover a song, it has to be more like chill and laid back than the original, which there are exceptions. There are good um, examples of that. But More Than Fine is such a fun and upbeat song, and she just killed it. Not in a good way. She just, like, it's dying. <laughs> like, it doesn't sound like you're More Than Fine, but that's my opinion. I really liked Relyon K's version of Ammunition. It's very fun, very punky. The Dare You to Move with Ryan Tedder, uh, it's basically just, they just took Switchfoot's new version of Dare You to Move, and they just added Ryan Tedder. So there's not really much to talk about there. Ryan Tedder is a good singer. Uh, but Colony House, I'm a big fan of Colony House. I like their version of Redemption. Owl City was just made to cover Gone. Like, that song was just made for him. And so it was perfect. Uh, really fun. Ingrid Andres, her version of On Fire was fine. Uh, Dayglow, I, uh, that's an artist that, um, I did not to expect to see on there, but, you know, very welcome. He has a really fun version of adding to the noise and Tyler Joseph from 21 pilots. Um, 21 pilots can be very hit or miss for me. I love, I've been listening to their album trench and I love that album. Not so much with some of their other albums, but, uh, I really like his version of, of 24. And uh, Sleeping at Last Monday comes around. Look, I gotta say, guys, I've never been on the Sleeping at Last bandwagon. It's like, Sleeping at Last? More like, yeah, I'm definitely sleeping while listening to this. <laughs> but, I don't know. If you like it, that's that's fine. So, yeah, it's a mixed bag. But I'd, I'd say I there are songs on this that I'd much rather listen to than the uh, than Switchfoot's new versions, uh, because they're they're just different, you know. And it's I I got something different out of this experience, and uh, I got what I was expecting to get from the first hour version, if that makes sense. So, so yeah. Anyways, it was uh, it's. It's fine, and if you're a Switchfoot fan, and honestly, if you're a fan of any of these artists, I recommend checking out these songs, because um, they're, they're a lot of fun. So, Beautiful Letdown, our version, Deluxe Edition, it's fine. It's more than fine. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. All right, so uh, next up, we have a new release from Mike Maines and the Branches. Uh, they are a band that I've talked about before on the show, and I'm a big fan of them. And they finally released this, uh, this new album, Memory Unfixed. Uh, Mike Maines and the Branches, they are like indie, pop, rock. Um, Sometimes a little bit more emphasis on the rock, sometimes a little bit more emphasis on the pop, but it's a really good, fun mixture. And um, I've, uh, I've really enjoyed this album. I haven't been able to do a deep dive into it. Actually, it's kind of the same with uh, most of what I'm talking about today because they just came out. So, But I would love to have a lot more uh, time with this album because... Um, Something that I love about Mike Maines and the Branches is their their lyricism uh, gets so deep, and he especially gets very, um, very honest with uh, with this album, especially with songs like uh, "Losing My Head" and "Lost Boys." You can just hear him just going through a lot of issues in his life, his faith, uh, relationships with with other people. Uh, it's a, it's a kind of lyricism that 
really um, can really resonate with a lot of people. And um, so, yeah, I highly recommend checking out uh, Memory Unfixed. I can't wait to continue to uh, listen to this album throughout the rest of the year, throughout the rest of my life, honestly. So, uh, yeah, um, Memory Unfixed by Mike Maines in the Branches. <laughs> All right, and next up, we have a new album from Need to Breathe, and it is called Caves. And uh, I, uh, you know, I've I've talked about Need to Breathe on this show as well. I Need to Breathe is the kind of band that I'm always going to like keep my eye on and uh, check out what they release. Um, but that doesn't mean that I love everything that Need to Breathe does. Uh, they can be they can be yeah they can be hit or miss for me one of the things that i criticize need to breathe over is that sometimes their their songs can lean a little bit too much into the like ccm mainstream ballads but my favorite kind of need to breathe is the the edgy and the fun need to breathe and the thing is is that there is a lot of that in this album i i am happy to say there is a lot of fun in this album and <clears throat> a little bit of edginess i wish there i wish i guess what i mean edginess is that i my favorite album from need to breathe is the reckoning um a lot of good jams on that album and uh especially their song Oohs and Oz. And I think their first song on this new album, The Cave, is very reminiscent of that. Um, they just have a lot of fun. And there's only like a couple times where it gets a little like, okay, this is a little bit, you know, this song was definitely made to like be on Christian radio or whatever. But, um, but I found that there, there was a lot to appreciate about this album. The cave, the song "The Cave" gets really creative with its uh, chord progression. Uh, Ever known is really fun. Uh, there's a collaboration with Judah and the Lion called "Dreams," and that's just a that's just a jam, you know. Uh, "Wasting Time" it's a great great party song, you know. Um, and a lot of good features on here. We got Old Dominion, Carly Pierce, and Foy Vance as well. It's just a good mixture of, you know got some country and folk in there mixed in with some really fun arena rock and you know that's a good way to my heart it's just really fun arena rock so uh i i'm enjoying it so far it doesn't beat uh the reckoning for me personally but um you know i'm not complaining honestly so uh if you're a need to breathe fan I, i'd say you you would definitely enjoy this album so that's uh caves by need to breathe so I throw my bones in the river Sink my teeth in a good time Pour out more than a feeling I All right, and last but not least, we have a new single from Half Alive. Uh, I'm a big fan of Half Alive, as you guys know, and so they just, you know, they just dropped this new song on us, and it's called Subliminal. And uh, basically what it's about, and I would actually recommend you guys check out the uh, music video to it because it adds, uh, it, it, it really brings a lot, uh, uh, lifts the song up and the lyricism and such. Basically about being in a relationship and like the, the, uh, the conflicts of that and, the, and the, the struggles of being in a relationship and uh, what, that, what that looks like exactly. Um, Nothing more to it, but it's it's a fun alternative pop track and about as good as uh, Half Alive gets. So I hope that I haven't looked into it, but I hope that they're uh, working on a new album. So, but yeah, go check out Subliminal by Half Alive. All right, and that's it for my humble opinion. Hey, you. Yeah, you person right there watching this video. Hey, did you know that this was just a little 
clip from an actual full episode of the show that I do called the I'm Clifford Today Show? Well, now you do. So you should just go and check that full episode out. And hey, while you're at it, you should just go subscribe and check out my whole channel. That's, I mean, that's just my advice. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want. 